Hi guys, I'm Tracy Lockwood Beckerman. I'm a registered dietitian, author, YouTube host, and the face behind The Happiest Nutritionist. And I'm here to answer your questions. The glycemic index is a hot topic these days, and for a good reason. For those wondering what the heck the glycemic index is, abbreviated as GI on food labels, you are most certainly not alone. The glycemic index is a way of measuring how quickly or how slowly carbohydrates can raise glucose levels, aka sugar, in the blood. Based on how fast the body breaks down food into glucose, the food can be categorized as a high, moderate, or low glycemic index food. Some examples of high GI foods include pretzels, donuts, and croissants. Moderate GI foods include corn, potatoes, and popcorn, while low GI foods include peppers, legumes, and even packaged foods like Perfect Bar. Many factors influence the glycemic index, such as the food's ripeness, the fiber levels, sugar molecules, the chosen cooking method, and the presence and amount of protein and fat. It's important for those looking to balance or stabilize blood sugar levels to lean towards more low GI foods and seek out food products with the low GI symbol when possible. People who want to stay fuller longer, um, who doesn't, and want to lose some weight can also benefit from choosing low GI food. What it truly comes down to and how you can navigate any food choice is to seek out products made from whole foods to fuel your body and make you feel your best.